the unfortunate truth is we all want it now. We all want it today, this week, this month, this year. But unfortunately, we can't service our business like we service our clients. Consumers are standing in line at tables and they want their damn food. We want sales results with our businesses, but it's not that simple. It's more of a long play. So we have to talk about the inputs every day that determine those outcomes. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 400. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers because infrequent customers aren't paying your bills. And unfortunately, research shows the majority of people walking in your restaurant are very infrequent. It hit me the other day as I was standing in line at a restaurant. People are impatient, including myself, including you. We've all been conditioned in the have it now mindset. And that may work if you're ordering tacos or a pizza or a burrito. It doesn't work when it comes to building a business. And I've been guilty of this. I can see our company's vision. And I clearly have it written down. 10, 20, 30. 10,000 restaurants visited. 20,000 restaurants as clients by the year 2030. And I have to remind myself, Matt, it's 2023. Why are you so focused on getting that 10,000 and 20,000 today? All you have to do is put the effort in today that will get me there in seven years. Now, I know a lot of people struggle with long-term goals like that, but unfortunately, it's what you have to do as a business owner. And the challenging part that we deal with is payroll, is rent, our different expenses that happen every week. Trust me. I know this as well as any restaurant owner. We have operated in a very aggressive growth mode the last three years, and revenue has been great. Profit has been sparse. Next year is that year, I think. <laughs> I laugh out loud because we all tell our spouse that, our business partners that. We tell ourselves that. But here is the one promise I can make you. If you do not spend time right now focusing on the inputs and analyzing the output, you're never going to get to that goal. I have strategically built a plan that over the next five to seven years will get me to my 10, 20, 30 goal. And every day I focus on what those are. I look at the effort my marketing team takes. I look at the effort my sales team takes. I look at my effort, operations, everybody's. The difference in my business versus yours is the majority of you are running restaurants that don't have a staff like I have. You don't have a marketing director. You don't have a creative director. You don't have an advertising director. You've got you and maybe one or two soldiers in the restaurant helping you do some of these tasks. But I can promise you the one way that you completely can screw yourself, that you can shoot yourself in the foot is by trying to have that I want it now mentality. If you're starting to run Facebook ads, they take six months to two years to optimize. If you're starting to build a database, that's awesome. The 500 people you got this month aren't going to revolutionize your business. Hell, the 500 people you're gonna get the next six months in a row aren't going to revolutionize your business. But the 500 people you get the next 36 months will. And I want to put this out there because a lot of us struggle with this. And by the way, I am talking this episode to myself as much as you. Because I fight this demon every week. I want it now. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of running so hard some days, even though I enjoy it. I'm tired of some of the stress the headache, the anguish. I want the smiles. And granted, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I love what we do. 
but I also see the other side and I can see what it would look like. But I have to remind myself every week, Matt, you've got the 12 things on your desk you need to focus on. Focus on those today is going to get you those in a couple years. I'm not at the convenience of a fast casual line. I'm not the customer three back that knows within 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be sitting down eating a burrito. I'm way the back in line. And this goes big time with marketing. And this is the big struggle I have faced my entire career. I've been in marketing since 1998, technically. 99, I guess you could say, is when I really got my my feet going full speed once I was out of college. And I've been in digital marketing for that entire time, mixed with branding and acquisition marketing and mass media. So I understand the mindset of most advertisers. I want to run a radio commercial now and next week sell a car. I want to send an email out now and today, two days from now, somebody walk in for their birthday. I wish it was that easy, but I'm here to tell you it's not. But I'm also here to tell you that it, it is on the other side. The journey that I'm personally on, I've been on for seven years. 2015 is when I saw the vision of what we could do with restaurant marketing. And we started changing our company. 2016, we went all in. I've been doing the same activities every day, RGAs. I've been doing 12 revenue generating activities day in and day out. And as I've grown, I've been able to assign those to my team. And many of those activities, I've still not seen the fruits of the labor. But there's a trust in the process. And it's just like going to the gym and eating better. If you consistently do it over a long period of time, you cannot go backwards if you improve consistently. So my ask today is a couple things. Number one, don't be too far to one side of the equation when looking at your inputs today and expecting that output tomorrow. Number two, understand the inputs that have to happen, emails, texts, customer database creation, customer acquisition, community involvement, video marketing, storytelling. There's a lot of things you need to be focusing on every day and delegating to your team to get help on so that in six months, 12 months, 18 months, you can start to see those pieces of bamboo come to the ground. And last but not least, we have to, we, you and I, we have to erase the mindset of habit today. It seems like it's the American way. We see a car, we get it. I'm guilty of that. We see a burrito, we get it. We see a sofa in a store, you want to order it for your office, and they go, oh, it's three weeks. But you have to stay focused on your business goals and understand that a goal worth attaining is not happening tomorrow. And today's input is going to be the product of the output 12 to 18 months down the road at least. See you next episode. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you that's relevant to your restaurant that you got value from and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners. And you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.